Okay, I will uh, start with the uh, eagle for this gun. Okay, so I'm done with the eagle. Let me uh, shut it down. Okay, here's the result. Eagle from the top view. This is slam corrected data uh, processed with the basic data function. And if I turn on the color one, you can see that there's some uh, drifting. So I will uh, export this and compare it with the FJD Trine S1, the 270 degrees uh, LiDAR. Okay, the FJD Trine S1 is in yellow color and the eco LiDAR scanner is in a magenta color. They are both aligned together. The starting point is uh, matched together. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the try next one. Uh, the parallelness of the floor, uh, second floor and third floor, I have already checked. It's uh, all parallel, so there is no rotational distortion. Uh, during the scan, all the floors is um, parallel and in both axes along the width and along the length okay and when i turn on to a uh, point cloud from the eagle this is a uh, slam corrected data uh, you can see that um, the eagle has some uh, problem with the parallelness of the floor 
as you can see uh, when it's uh, further away uh, the floor start to move down I think for I think uh, three or four centimeters so it has an issue with the see here the clean one is the trinus one and the magenta one is the eagle the third floor slab move like um, 10 centimeters the second floor slab is not parallel to the third floor slab I will cut a thin section and you can see the the different of the you see the the eagle the floor start to bend down while the FJD Trinus one give a straight line. If I move it up here, you can see that FJD Trinus one is straight line, and the eagle it's start to uh, drop. It's about um, more than five centimeters along the length. You can see that. So uh, this torsion is um, is quite high uh, for this scale of work. I don't recommend that you should be using this for um, structural fitting. Uh, for this, if you look at the floor pan, this is the starting point on the ground floor and the ground floor uh, the starting point match yeah, there's some rotational drifting from the eagle in this corner and most of the column match and this wall also match okay let's uh, move to the second floor ah you can see it's now quite a different uh, the wall here the eagle starts to move uh, the wall lines here doesn't match on the second floor, uh, about three centimeter, about three centimeters, the wall mismatch on the second floor. Okay, let's go to the third floor because third floor is along this distance of walking. Okay, let's move to the third floor. All right, here's the third floor. Uh, the floor slab move too much. I mean, if you look here, let me check. About thirteen centimeters, so it's quite a lot. 13 centimeters. The differences between the two scan is uh, somewhere around 13 centimeters. There's some distortion uh, from the eagle on the floor. Uh, okay, let's bring the color one and compare it. Okay, here's the result from the eagle with a colorized point cloud. And if I look from the side view, I turn on FJD Tronis one. Okay, you can see we have the same problem. Um, the floor slab start to move down along the length. See here, I think it's more severe. Yeah, the slam one is better. The slam one in magenta color. And the worst one is the colorized white cloud from the eagle. The slam one is a bit better. Okay, so let's uh, look from the other side. The left view. If I look from the left view, ah, you can see the slab here in this corner. See this? Uh, the floor slab move like more than 10 centimeters. I think it's 20 centimeters. And if I turn on the slam one, the uh, slam one is about the same as the colorized one. So the slam algorithm from the Eco doesn't do much. And uh, in my previous video that I scanned the outdoor area, the slam uh, result from the Eco is much worse than the colorized one. And in this scan, it's about the same as the SLAM one. So the SLAM algorithm is not that great. Let's check the floor plan. I'll make a section for the floor plan. So, um, the colorized one and the FJD Tronis one is yeah, it's almost match. There's no uh, drifting on the first floor. Okay, so I move to the second floor. Here's the second floor. All right, now you can see um, the colorized one starts to drift, same as the slam one. So let me uh, measure the drifting distance, about seven centimeters. The FJD Tron S one is sharper. Okay, let's check all the section together. You can see that the colorized one and the slam one from the ego is exactly at the same location. So the slam in this case doesn't do much. It doesn't help collecting the error. Okay, it's the second floor. Uh, let's move to the third floor. Okay, it's the third floor. You can see that the point cloud from the FJ Tronis one is sharper. The slam and non-slam from the ego get give you the same result. 
Okay, so in my opinion, uh, the result from the Eagle LiDAR scanner is not uh, accurate enough for me to use it for reversing and making a structural design for the canopy. So um, I will use it for a presentation only because it has a very good uh, color output. And when I do a shop drawing for the structure, I would probably use uh, the result from uh, FJD Tron S1 instead. Okay, and here's the tensile structure that I uh, made using CAD software and uh, structural programs. And then I um, convert it into a point cloud and put it back uh, into this uh, building so that my customer can see um, the new uh, additional canopies that I made. Okay, thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.